Hi, this is Jenny from Fluffmonger.com, and in this video, I'll be showing how to use glass beads for eyes on plush toys. For this example, I'm going to attach eyes for a custom bear I'm working on. I'm shooting this video with my cell phone instead of my DSLR camera. The frame rate on my film app seems to be having issues, so I apologize if there's some clips that might look jumpy. Embroidered eyes, like the eyes on this llama, are ideal for toys intended for children, since they don't pose a choking hazard. I've shown how to make embroidered eyes on plush toys in some of my videos in the past. When I make plush collectibles that are intended for adults, though, I like to use glass beads so the eyes will shine. If you're familiar with my blog, you know I try to source materials that are ethically made. When I first started making organic plush toys, it was a challenge to find eyes that came from responsible sources and that would work well with knit fabrics. The posts on the back of some eyes can damage knit fabrics, like the organic fleece and Sherpa I use. My mother-in-law, who's a bead artist, recommended I try beads with a wedge-shaped back, and I've been using them successfully for a couple of years now. The wedge on the back helps conceal the thread better than round beads. You can attach the beads before or after stuffing. If you attach the beads before stuffing, a shorter needle will suffice. I prefer to attach the eyes after stuffing, and that requires a long doll needle. For some of my animals, I like to needle sculpt the face before inserting the eyes. Needle sculpting the eye area can completely transform the face, and it allows the beads to sink into the head. I've added a link to my video tutorial on needle sculpture in the comments. I like the shape of this bear's face as is, so I'm going to go straight into attaching the eyes. Black thread is ideal for attaching the eyes since it matches the beads, but depending on where you want to tie off the thread, you may want to use a color that matches your fabric. Since I'll be inserting the needle into the ear of this bear, I'm going to use a thread that matches the color. You can also insert your doll needle inside your plush toy if you haven't closed the opening, or you can choose an inconspicuous spot on the outside, like the back of the head. I sometimes use the armpits of toys if I know the area will be covered with clothing. I'm going to be using two different colors of thread for attaching the eyes. The main thread is what will secure the eyes. The second thread is for getting the beads onto the thread. I find that it's easier to use different color threads to differentiate between the two. I'm going to start with about a 12 inch long piece of thread that I'll be using to thread through the eye of the beads. Then I'm going to take my main thread and I'm going to double it over and make a knot at the end. If you're using something like upholstery thread, you can just use one strand, but since I'm using multi-purpose thread, I'm going to double it over like I have here. So the red thread I'm just going to bring through the loop right here. And bring the ends together. So now I just have these looped together like that. Then I'm going to take my long doll needle. And I'm going to thread both of the pieces of the red through. So both of the ends are going to go through the eye of the needle. Then I'm just going to pull it through. So I have my knot here at the end. And I'm going to come in through the ear of the bear right here. And then I'm going to come out where I have the first eye marking. you're just going to pull the needle through. And then you can actually take the thread off of the needle. Sometimes that thread's going to come out. So just take the thread and go back through again. Okay, so now that I have my thread on there again, I'm going to take one of my beads I'm going to take both of the 
and so I'm going to go through the eye of the bead. Then I can take the ends of the thread and go back on the needle. And then I'm just going to go back into the bear's head and come out the other side. I'm going to do the same thing again and take the needle off. Then I'm going to take my other bead and thread both ends of the thread back through the eye of the bead. And then I'm going to put the thread back onto the needle. I'm going to put the needle back in the head. And then I'm going to come out this ear right here. Okay, so now so now I'm just going to tie off the knot and the ear. And then I'm going to bury the thread tail. And that's it. You can find the beads, the doll needle and thread, as well as my sewing patterns and organic fabric kits in my shop. I provided a link in the comments. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. You can find me and my fluffy friends at fluffmonger.com and on social media.